Something extraordinary is happening beneath the waves. China's new Yuan-class submarines are rewriting the rules of stealth and endurance, quietly reshaping global undersea balance. These aren't the massive nuclear giants of the Cold War. They're smaller, quieter, and multiplying fast. In this video, we'll uncover how China achieved this leap in submarine design and what makes these air-independent propulsion systems so different. At the heart of China's recent naval evolution lies a simple yet powerful idea. Build submarines that stay hidden longer, cost less, and can be produced faster. The Yuan class, officially designated Type 039A and 039C, embodies that philosophy. Unlike traditional diesel-electric submarines, which must surface frequently to recharge batteries, the Yuan class uses Stirling Engine Air Independent Propulsion AIP. This allows it to operate silently, a dramatic improvement over older designs. This is made possible by the Stirling Closed Cycle Engine, which generates power by heating and cooling pressurized gas inside a sealed system. Because it doesn't rely on external air, the sub avoids producing bubbles or noise that sonar systems detect. Analysts estimate this reduces the acoustic signature by around 35 decibels compared with previous Chinese diesel boats, a massive reduction in sonar detectability. Engineers also applied rubber anechoic tiles and angled hull shapes that scatter sonar waves instead of reflecting them, further lowering its acoustic fingerprint. Production scale adds another edge. Chinese shipyards in Wuhan and Shanghai can build multiple hulls simultaneously thanks to modular construction lines and abundant industrial capacity. Open source defense trackers report that more than 21 Yuan-class submarines are now in active service, with additional units under construction. This pace rivals or surpasses that of any Western nation in conventional submarine production. Inside the hull, the Yuan-class carries a mix of advanced sensors and weapons. It features six 533mm torpedo tubes capable of launching YU-6 torpedoes, YJ-18 cruise missiles, and YJ-8 anti-ship missiles. These can strike surface vessels or land targets with precision while keeping the submarine deep underwater. Its top submerged speed reaches about 20 knots, adequate for stealth missions in coastal and mid-range environments. The Yuan class isn't just an engineering project, it's a blueprint for how China envisions controlling its maritime surroundings. Rather than sending a few large vessels across oceans, Beijing appears focused on saturating nearby seas with quiet, autonomous, and enduring platforms. The East China Sea, the Taiwan Strait, and the South China Sea form the core zones where these submarines excel. Operating close to home brings logistical advantages, resupply, maintenance, and crew rotation are simpler. It also suits China's goal of ensuring its maritime approaches remain closely monitored. Because AIP submarines can remain underwater for extended periods without surfacing, they can discreetly patrol shipping lanes or observe foreign naval activities with minimal detection risk. One of the most distinctive features of the Yuan-class strategy is scalability. China's shipyards can deploy new boats faster than most nations can update sonar networks. This numerical expansion forces neighboring countries to invest heavily in surveillance and tracking systems. The Yuan class becomes, in effect, a moving sensor network, each vessel capable of collecting acoustic, radar, and environmental data that feeds into China's broader maritime awareness systems. Another dimension is research and development synergy. The earlier Type 032 Qing class submarines served as experimental testbeds for AIP modules, sonar arrays, and torpedo launch systems. Lessons from the Qing directly shaped the Yuan's reliability and efficiency. At the same time, the experimental Type 041 Zhou class, believed to combine diesel-electric propulsion with a compact nuclear-assist reactor, is exploring even longer underwater endurance. In other words, the Yuan isn't a final product but a stepping stone in a continuous technological ladder. What does this approach achieve? It gives China flexibility. The Yuan class can conduct reconnaissance, protect sea routes, or act as deterrence by presence. All without overt confrontation. Its quietness makes it suitable for mixed missions, escorting valuable assets, collecting intelligence, or shadowing foreign vessels in contested waters. 
Because these operations rely on stealth rather than visible force, they remain politically low-profile, while technically impactful. Strategically, the Yuan-class signals a shift toward a distributed undersea presence, many quiet submarines rather than a few massive ones. The international community has taken notice. For naval planners and ocean technologists alike, the Yuan class represents a new kind of challenge. How to detect and track extremely quiet conventional submarines operating in complex coastal waters. Traditional sonar arrays were built for the deep oceans, where sound travels predictably and background noise is low. But in regions such as the South China Sea, cluttered, shallow, and acoustically chaotic, these systems lose much of their effectiveness. The Yuan class thrives precisely in that environment. This growing difficulty has led to a wave of innovation across maritime nations. Many Indo-Pacific navies are now rethinking how they listen to the sea. Multi-static sonar networks, which use multiple transmitters and receivers to triangulate hidden objects, are being expanded. Autonomous underwater drones and unmanned surface vessels equipped with artificial intelligence processors are patrolling larger areas for longer durations. These platforms can process vast acoustic datasets in real time, identifying unusual sound patterns that might indicate an AIP submarine moving quietly through the water column. Machine learning algorithms are also entering the field. By training on millions of hours of acoustic signatures, from whales to merchant ships, AI systems can distinguish the faint hum of a Stirling engine from natural background noise. This fusion of sensors, automation, and data science could become the future foundation of undersea awareness. From an industrial standpoint, the Yuan class highlights a remarkable shift toward cost-optimized mass production. Each of these AIP submarines is believed to cost only a small fraction of what a nuclear-powered submarine requires, allowing faster fleet expansion. Analysts estimate that if the current rate continues, China could field over 40 modern AIP-capable submarines within this decade. That not only enhances its regional undersea presence, but also demonstrates a new manufacturing model, modular construction, parallel assembly lines, and standardized components that reduce cost and build time. This efficiency is drawing interest far beyond defense circles. Engineers see the Stirling engine technology as a clean, efficient power source for autonomous underwater research vehicles and deep-sea exploration craft. The same low-noise, long-duration energy systems that let the Yuan operate undetected could enable oceanographic robots to study marine ecosystems, locate mineral deposits, and monitor undersea volcanoes without disturbing delicate environments. Ultimately, the Yuan class stands as a symbol of how innovation beneath the waves can reshape global maritime dynamics as profoundly as rockets reshaped space exploration. What emerges from the story of the Yuan class is more than a new submarine. It's a shift in philosophy. By combining efficiency, stealth, and continuous innovation, China has demonstrated how undersea technology can evolve outside the traditional nuclear paradigm. These vessels highlight how future maritime influence will depend as much on data, silence, and endurance as on size or power. As nations adapt to this reality, one thing becomes clear. The contest for awareness beneath the waves has just begun. And in that realm of sound and silence, the Yuan class has already made its presence felt. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.